Check that shit out, son. Boom. Got my money back from UPS. That's what you get, motherfuckers. That's what you get. Boom. I have no agenda this week. Uh, I'm burnt out. I've been going ever since Halloween, really. Uh, we were gearing up for the holidays, then the holidays hit, and then it was the after effects of the holidays, and we're still uh, fighting through it, but it's a lot of long days without a break. Uh, seven days a week. It's nonstop. It's, it's a good problem to have, though. I'm sure everyone thought that we see a record label talking about this is our day-to-day, -day, what we do every week. It was going to be a little more action-packed when you look at this and actually sit down and watch it. Uh, listen to music, adjusting levels, going to the post office. I watch a 12-inch piece of plastic go in circles all day. It's the most mundane thing. Starting to make room in the back garage to fit the two new machines. Uh, when I first moved in there, I felt like we had so much space, and now, um, even in a few months, you know, it's it's already starting to be something we're growing out of. I had to just take a, a day or two, actually, over the weekend. I took both Saturday and Sunday to just clear off all the shit that was on the table. Working outside in the shop today, trying to get this table clean. Um, we are, are always multitasking, and sometimes get a little overwhelmed and today I'm really feeling that so can't start anything new until you get the old out. It's good every once in a while to take a day like that just to to get organized again and get things out the door. So I really was hoping to get this uh, product designer built into the website last week um, but it just it wasn't working out for <laughs> I failed. I'm a failure, okay guys? I'm sorry. I promised something and I didn't deliver. That's me. Big idea guy, but can't fucking follow through. Uh, no matter how many late nights I put in and how hard I tried, uh, you know, the delays come up at the last minute. Uh, hopefully we get that rolling out this week, but you know, I said that last week, so don't hold me to it. Um, but the new app will allow people to really just build the product within the store. So say you wanted to make a custom record. This new app that we're putting in there is going to allow you to literally see the template on the website. You can upload your artwork right there, position it however you'd like it to be, add text, um, upload the audio in a separate section and fire it away. And this way you know exactly what it's going to look like without any need for Photoshop skills. But I'm hoping this will really make it a lot more efficient, um, especially with new machines on order. And the only way for us to be able to process that is to make things more efficient. Now's the time to really figure that out. I don't wanna have the machine sitting here waiting for jobs to come in and then continue doing things the way that we're already doing them. Because um, there's definitely a lot of inconsistencies in there and um, bottlenecks as Kevin likes to call it. We're up to orders uh, as of today. Actually, I just loaded up orders until January 31st, so we're almost into February. Hopefully, by the time those are done, we'll be back to that four to six week turnaround. So, I don't know what's going to happen this week uh, other than cutting records and getting things loaded. This is what, episode nine? Right? I mean, we've been doing these videos for nine weeks now. I'm about to flip the script, motherfucker. No more of this diary bullshit. Dear diary, oh dear diary, this week I did nothing. Dear diary, this week I cut records. Life is hard, okay, I'm a small business owner. Next week, new format.